So I, the, what I was mentioning about my video agency that I started with a few friends was I kind of got caught up in the fun and started a business and I'm like, oh my God, it's like I have a newborn again. <laughs> and then it's, a, it's like, you know, I've already had grown up kids, you know, which is my business that's established and it runs without me. And I kind of was like, you know, in a good place. And then all of a sudden, accidental baby, right? <laughs> and then you kind of really back to startup phase. And I realized that no matter how experienced you are in business, you're launching a new business and you're always constantly pivoting the service offering, trying to, you know, get new people to know about your product. And it's just as much of a hustle as it was, you know, starting my first business ages ago. But of course you have more faith because you know, if you've done it before, you can do it again, but it definitely takes a lot of a lot out of you, right? Because you, because I'm also in that position where I'm like, I don't have to do this because I already got a business and it pays me. So why am I doing this? But then the the more every day you get get on with it and you've got you build up a team and then you start doing some. Pro- you can't help to kind of you love you have to love your baby kind of you know. Yeah. It's one of those things where you wake up at night for your baby, you have to feed it, but like, but you love your baby, and so that's how I feel like with this new business, which we help people with YouTube videos and YouTube marketing and LinkedIn marketing, etc. And and it's just, um, yeah, that's what makes me very uh, tired and, and and overwhelmed sometimes recently. Yeah, and I assume you'll fit in the book there somewhere as well. Oh, yeah, exactly, right? And so there's still some passion projects that I'm at a place where I really want to give back. So I have a YouTube channel where I'm always sharing content about even how to start an outsourcing agency, how to work on at home, because I don't want to die with my secrets. I, I want more people to start a company and hire more people, whether it's from developing countries or wherever, right? So that's kind of my my mission. So I like doing that. It makes me feel good. Writing a book also makes me feel good to share everything that I know. I mean, because my, my biggest mission also is how do you get business owners to enjoy the process and be happy at the same time, not forget life? Yeah. I have my own husband who has been in business for over 20 something years and he's always stressed out. He's always like, wait, one day, we can do this one day, you know, it's always a one day he'll be happy. And then I just book it in every holiday. I just do things without him, without asking him just to give him that lifestyle. And I realize that there's a lot of people like him, right. Who just someday I'll be happy kind of business owner. And so that's why I wanted to do the book too. So yeah, going, raising a newborn baby and then, you know, having my own life, you know, if you can it's a lot, it's a lot, it to, lot to juggle. Yeah. It's a good analogy, a really good analogy. Thank <laughs> you.